Welcome to Ultimate Skincare and Beauty Report. I'm Mary Wink and Werder. Finishing touches always add the final notes to an ensemble. When finishing holiday looks, the right finishing touches are needed to capture moments in true flair. How can your ensembles make the mark this holiday season? Joining us this episode is Hal Rubenstein from Gabriel and Company to introduce some beautiful finishing touches and style tips for the holiday season. Hal, welcome to Ultimate Skincare and Beauty Report. Hi, thank you for having me. It's great to have you join us. So Hal, I hear you're a fervent jewelry lover and collector. What is your philosophy on jewelry and what attracted you to Gabriel and Company? The thing I love about jewelry very simply is, well, there's several things, but one, it's, it's, it's like a visual history that you get to carry with you. Everything you look at, every piece that you wear, there's a story there. There's a story behind it. And I think especially when you have favorite pieces of jewelry. Um, it's literally, it's, it's almost like ca carrying your family and your friends and your experiences with you. Uh, what attracted me to Gabriel is I think probably because they, they have that same philosophy. They're looking at jewelry not to be, they, they, their jewelry is not, to be, is not to be put in a vault or saved for a special occasion or a wedding or a bar mitzvah, but basically this is jewelry that's meant to be worn every day. It, basically it's, it joins you on your way on your life and th that's exactly where jewelry should be. Jewelry shouldn't be saved. That's a big mistake. It's like saving china or, 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 those, or those great plates or, or, or uh, tablecloths or any kind of heirloom. They're useless if they're not worn. If they're not used, then they're not enjoyed. Wow, that's beautiful. I like that. So when approaching the fusing of jewelry into our holiday wardrobe, what should we keep in mind? Well, I think the great thing about jewelry is that it sets you apart. It's special. Hey, let, let put it this way. It sparkles. From the time we're in a crib and we look at the pieces that are hanging over the crib, we get attracted by the things that are shiny. Um, we don't really change all that much as we get older. And the wonderful thing about, about jewelry, especially you know, for those of us who live in a climate that gets colder and you start piling on the layers and the layers and the layers and they get heavier, it's the jewelry that's going to stand out more than anything else. So what, are, what core components should we keep in our wardrobe for this special occasion? I'm sorry, say it again. I missed what you said. What core components should we keep in our wardrobe for the holiday season? Well, I think a lot of that, I think, I think what you wear and what you choose depends really on where you live. Put it this way, I love necklaces, but if you live in Vermont and you're always wearing a turtleneck, um, that may be hard <laughs> unless, you decide, unless you decide to wear it outside. I right. Think I think also you have to look to, if you have long hair, then there, then basically I would, I would recommend a big hoop earring. If you have short hair, then I'd recommend a shiny, a shiny earring that basically comes down your jawline. I think so much of it is dependent upon what your face looks like and, and where you live and what, and what your wardrobe is. Earrings always work because they frame the face. They frame the face and they help the face shine. So depending on what your hair length is, and, and also the, the pieces that the, the pieces that you favor, whether you have pierced ears or not. Um, I think you should pair, pick. You should get yourself a wardrobe of earrings. A wardrobe of earrings, I think that that both vary with with your makeup and the colors that you choose to wear. Uh, beyond that, like, go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, say that we get. Um, say that we invest in holiday jewelry pieces, and you know we want to wear them. You know again and again. Is it like? Wearing, um, you know, that that special little black dress that's very exclusive. You know, you probably don't want to wear it more than one season. Or if we get these jewelry pieces, can we wear them more, you know, more than once during the same holiday well, season? The I actually was going to cut you off at the word ho buying holiday jewelry. I don't really think okay. this such a thing is. But this way, unless you're going to buy a jeweled Christmas tree, um, I don't see there is no such, no such thing as holiday jewelry. The holidays are a great excuse. To go yeah. buy jewelry. It's the perfect time. Once you buy it, oh my gosh, this is jewelry you should be wearing constantly. This is these these become the finishing touches to your wardrobe all the time. I mean jewelry becomes a favorite element. Just to, and that you know that. When you have that that pair of boots that when you put on that you just walk a little bit taller. You know, or that coat that just shapes your body and gives you those strong shoulders and you always want to wear that. That's the same thing. Once you find jewelry pieces that you like, these things should become almost part of you. I know for someone like me, I almost never take my jewelry off because I just I don't see any reason to because they're they're they're, they're part of me. But it's don't that, that's the thing about jewelry. I don't think you should treat it as something either very special or 
as elements in a wardrobe the way, like say, well, I wore this blouse today, so I can't wear it tomorrow. Jewelry, because it's an accessory, takes on a different personality depending upon the clothes that you wear. So you shouldn't hesitate to wear these favorite new pieces ever. Wow, that's that's wonderful advice. So I understand that you're in the Gabriel and Company studio and yes. that you have a few key pieces that you're willing to share with us. Let's start with the Biblos bangles. Please tell us about Biblos and how they work into a holiday wardrobe. Okay. Can you see these? I'm trying um, to see. Let's see here. Can you hold them up again? There you go. How's that? Beautiful. Okay, you see these these pieces are so simple, so easy. Whether you, whether you wear just this piece on its, whether you wear just this piece on its own, uh -huh. or, you, or you keep stacking these. This this is this is a wardrobe of jewelry, a wardrobe of bracelets, and these are bracelets that can be worn every day in any configuration. They wear you can wear it with your watch, with, with whatever jewelry that you already own, and these pieces that they slip right on. They're fun. Okay, there's nothing. There's no major decision involved in wearing something like this. You know this is going to look good, whether it's at the base, whether it's the base of a sleeve of a turtleneck, whether whether you're wearing this with this with a sleeveless dress, or you're wearing this under your cuff as you go to work. There's nothing you like. I said you just have to wear this because you like it. There's no real reason behind this. There's nothing about this that says holiday, and yet it's perfect for the holidays. But it's also perfect for every day. Now, um, in terms of wearing uh, multiple bangles or multiple bracelets, can we transition that look from daytime to an evening time look? Absolutely. I don't really, honestly, I don't, I think when it gets to very expensive jewelry, I think there's a moment of day to evening, but I think one of some, what I love so much about the, the Gabriel jewelry that we have here is that it really is not about the need for a transition because these, this jewelry is not so elaborate that it isn't work appropriate. So you could imagine, you know, basically wearing this with it with a suit, you know, a suit and chemise underneath it, and then go right to an evening to an evening event in a dress. And you don't have to change jewelry. There's nothing to shift. There's nothing to take off. There's nothing to readjust. That's wonderful. So um, even though we're talking about holiday jewelry, um, how can women incorporate these looks into their daily lives? I think you should always incorporate jewelry into your daily life, and especially, I think it's key that you import that you incorporate fine jewelry into your daily life, for a very simple reason that it makes you feel better. The the point is is look, you know as well as I do that in this day and age, yeah, there's a lot of costume jewelry that's inexpensive, and it's fun and it's a giggle, and it's and it's cute to wear, and then there's a lot of costume designer jewelry that's incredibly expensive. I was with a friend the other day in a major department store who bought three pieces of quote costume by design. Amazing pieces. Those three costume pieces were seven thousand dollars. Wow. For seven thousand dollars you can probably wear everything that's behind me. Wow. I, basically everything I don't know if I can catch it, but everything yeah, in the it looks, Yeah, it's beautiful. Absolutely. $7, Why not wear great jewelry every day? Why not wear wear sapphires? Why not wear silver? Why not wear 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 crystal and diamonds and, 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 and white sapphires and, and other kinds of like semi precious gemstones every day. Because when you wear jewelry, when you wear fine jewelry, you know it. You know it, you feel it. It's that same difference that you have when you put on that favorite dress, when you put on something special, where you've gotten a compliment. The thing is, it's when you wear good stuff, you know you're wearing something special and it makes you feel special. It's it's the difference it always it always makes me laugh when I see people Buying those those fake bags that are sold on the streets, fake designer bags. <laughs> yeah. The point is, you know it's a fake. Who yeah. are you fooling? The person you're supposed to be satisfying is yourself. Well, where's the pride? Where's the pride in either fooling somebody else or knowing that isn't this isn't the real deal? Okay. Right. Well, but this is the real deal. This is the this is not kind of sort of maybe anything. This is it. This is what makes you feel sensational when you get dressed. This is your finishing touch, and it's your finishing touch whether you're wearing it for Christmas, for Hanukkah, for New Year's, for Valentine's Day, or it's Thursday in April. Yeah. That's great. So for those who are still shopping, which pieces make the best holiday gifts? Well, I mean, for me, look, it, it's, I think bracelets are the easiest gift to give people sure. simply because um, 
I think especially like a, a piece like, like, like this is a great gift to give somebody, to give a friend, to get, you know, maybe it's a friend or a teacher or some, maybe the babysitter, somebody who's done something, you know, special for you during the year without it seeming too personal. You know, again, you do a you do a stack if it's somebody more intimate or when you know somebody's personal taste. Rings, of course, are something very special. Rings you give, rings you give to people who matter. Sure. Okay. As far as earrings go, earrings go. I think to somebody who you've been intimate with or know very well. It doesn't necessarily have to be somebody you wake up alongside the next morning. It could be a sister, okay. it could be a mother, but it's somebody whose taste. Earrings are very special simply because they because they are near the face. Because they are in the face and they are so important, so you really should know something about someone's taste before you invest in that. And then necklaces, if you know somebody likes a necklace or a locket, like, excuse me, look at this, like one of these pieces, I just think that something like this is just so special because this becomes a piece... This becomes a piece that somebody wears every day. This is a pieces like pieces like these from, from Biblos, these become part of a person's personality. You don't separate them. They're going to be worn for good. They're going yeah, to be, and, those are beautiful. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you, honestly, if, if somebody gave, if I was a young lady and somebody gave this to me and I locked it on my neck, I don't think I'd ever take it off. What would be I the agree. point? You know, my 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 father gave my, my mom years ago. It was like a it was a golden daisy with a diamond in the center and pearls around the and pearls around the, around the edges of the petals. She never took it off her entire life. And, and that no matter what other necklace, what other piece of jewelry she had on, that piece was always there. And I think pieces like this, where they're so simple but so beautiful, and I don't know if it's possible to even see it, but and here's the beauty of jewelry that's made with such incredible care, like the way the people at Gabriel do. Is that if I don't know, you can see the diamonds on this yeah, side. Look at the, we can see look it. At the back absolutely side of this. beautiful. And the backside is something that's designed for nobody but you. And wow. here's jewelry you it doesn't have to be so you turn it over and say hey look at something on the side no it's the excitement of knowing that this is yours on both sides on both yeah. sides like you have your own little secret on the other side and that's a rush for me anyway I think yeah. when, jewelry, when, when jewelry is so beautifully made 360 degrees that gives you a great sense of pride because you know something everybody else doesn't that's wonderful so how we'd love to see more pieces in the showroom since you're here Okay. Uh, you, can you see this blue topaz? Yes. Look at the intensity of this. It's look, beautiful. Talk about a piece of holiday jewelry. Talk about something where people are going to see you and notice you and spot you. This is just glorious. But um, but again, the design with the little blue sapphires on the top. But here's the key: is that if you actually wear this, when you see it just against the neck, it's so simple and so unadorned. You can wear this with a V-neck dress, or basically, you can wear this with a t-shirt and a pair of jeans. Wow. So jewelry doesn't. It, it's amazing the adaptability of jewelry. When it's when it's very simply designed with beautiful pieces and great craftsmanship. Wow, it's absolutely gorgeous. What else do you have back there to share with us? I mean, you can't get a cuff cooler than this. I mean, wow, it's tough, it's beautiful. tough, it's cool, it's young, it's fun. I mean, this is something that you could you could give to a parent. This is someone you could give give to your kids and you know or your nieces in college. Because it has because it has incredible elegance in the workmanship and the starfire in the center, but yet the beaten part of the metal makes it gives it such a fresh kind of little bit sort of a motorcycle chic element to it. Yeah, it does. It's really clever. I like that. That's wonderful. Okay, here's something that's so simple. Look at this. It this is just so incredibly simple. Wow. And yet, it just, it, I'm telling you, once somebody puts this on, they don't take this off. There's no reason to. It becomes so satisfying to look at. And it doesn't, remember, it, it's something that, you don't call this a showstopper, it's an eye catcher, which is a sure. different. An eye catcher becomes part of your wardrobe that we notice. A showstopper is something that sort of takes center stage. Well, that's not what this jewelry is designed to be, because center stage jewelry is harder to wear on an everyday basis. Eye catching jewelry is something that you can wear constantly. 
That's wonderful. So what else do you have to share with us? Okay. Same thing. Look at this whole set. Is it What? Okay, these look at this the, can you see these rock crystal stuff, this rock crystal set? Right now I can, yes. Okay, they're all so they're this this incredible color lavender that was all over the runways this spring and fall. This beautiful but look how easy the what? These there are actually literally two stones that are put together. Oh wow. Okay, intensity. But look how simple the earrings are. Oops, there they go. Okay. I'll just show you with the ring. It's easier, okay? Sure. Look how Basically, it's dynamic, but it's incredibly simple. It's incredibly simple. It's not about being, if you're a romantic, you know, if this person's conservative, if this person's edgy. It works for anybody, simply because the design is, is, is so clever. Wow, and that is just gorgeous. And the color lavender is just so uplifting. It's sensual. It's uplifting. It's easy. It's beaten silver. So the thing is, it does. It's something that doesn't have to be saved for, like I said, that special occasion. I, as, you, as you can tell, I have real issues with anything that's saved for a special occasion. I think, <laughs> basically, excuse me, but if you got up and it's Tuesday, that's a special occasion. Think about it. So. Well, for, basically, from everything that you've shown me, what I like is that they are so versatile, or they appear to be so versatile that they can they can be worn in the post-holiday wardrobe and even year-round. Well, I, again, I don't like like I said, a holiday is just another time, just another time of the year for me to go out. I don't really think it's it, there, there should be any like I said, if you're one of those people who wears reindeer sweaters and things like that, then it's just <laughs> um, I'm not there. Uh, to me, the, the, great thing about, the great thing about the holidays is it's a time when you get to see a lot of people, some you know well and some you don't. But it's when you want to go out there and look your best. And simply Absolutely. because, you know, winter's coming, it's a special case. Well, if you go out there and you go out there with pieces like this and you get that compliment, and you get the compliment, wow, you look great, but why would you want to stop those compliments from coming and take this jewelry off and save it for another time? That's right. it. That's self-defeating. The idea is that once you go out there and you show it and you look great and you feel amazing in it, then you should want to go out there and look great and feel amazing in it all the time. That is that is sound advice. Everyone listen. The man knows what he's talking about. So, Hal, where can we purchase these beautiful pieces right now? I'm going to tell you in a second, all right? There are, there are, if you actually if you go online, if you go on Gabriel, Gabriel and Company online, there are 1,500 retailers around the country that, that sell Gabriel and Company. And the list is basically, if you go online, it'll show you exactly where in your, in your, your local area that you could find the jeweler of your choice. That's wonderful. So you're available nationwide. That's great. Yes, we are. Um, we and so that's wonderful to know. And so for everyone who likes to connect with online communities, where can we catch up with Gabriel and Company online? Uh, it's GabrielNewYork.com. Wonderful. Hal, thanks so and much for can, joining us. Okay, I just want to tell you, it's an incredible oh, yeah. website. You can have so much fun with it, whether you're looking for engagement rings or, 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 or stack, stacking rings. It's amazing what you can find. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. So, Hal, thank you for taking GabrielNY.com. Thanks so much for joining us. It's been great having you on the show. Okay, you know, <laughs> All right. Holiday. Catch and up with me on my blog, www.beautybeautyreport.com, and on Twitter, at Beauty Publicist. Everyone, thanks so much for joining us on Ultimate Skincare and Beauty Report. Have a beautiful and successful week. Mwah. Bye. Bye.